Today we're going to go over a standard fire department hose um, in the fire service. This is an inch and a half double jacket hose with NH or NST. NH and NST is the same thread. Um, a lot of people use NH, so some people still use NST. This is very common in the fire service. It's probably used by 90% of the fire departments in America, but always check your local fire service to determine what type of threads are in your district. There's New York threads, Chicago threads, on and on. So anyways, we're going to go over this. This is a standard double jacket hose, inch and a half. We'll talk about most hose comes with a female and a male coupling on here. We can put double females with double males, but this is standard for us. This is a 50 foot section of inch and a half. All right, we'll talk about the female. If you're trying to determine what uh, size hose you currently have or you want, this is um, a lot of times a stenciled on the female coupling. This says 1.5 NH on there. It swivels, so always look that way. If you never try to measure the female coupling, always measure the outside diameter of the male. For example, this is an inch and a half NH. This is two inches if you measure the outside diameter of this. And this is on the adapter guide of a website. So the very common mistake, people think they have two inch hose. This is inch and a half hose. This measures two inches. It's a very coarse thread, um, NH, and it's not compatible with anything else except for another NH. So let's start with the female. The female side, let's say you have a fire hydrant. Most fire hydrants on the sides are two and a half inch NH. So this is a two and a half inch NH. This is going to thread onto the fire hydrant and you'll connect this hose to this. Inch and a half NH, inch and a half NH. Only two threads that are compatible here. And you thread it on. It seals with a gasket, just like a guard hose does to your house. As I tighten it down, the gasket seals, and you can always use a spanner wrench to go on here to get a little extra just to make sure it doesn't leak. All right? The male side is compatible to itself. Another female, inch and a half NH. Or if you want to buy a nozzle for the end of your hose, you buy an inch and a half NH nozzle. It has a gasket in there. Same thing as a guard hose. You thread it on there and you're done. All right. And remember, always double check your threads. Very common to make mistakes here. So go ahead, use our adapter guide. There's a video on our adapter guide. You can take a piece of paper and wrap it around there and measure. Uh, shows you how to do that and determine if when in doubt, just give us a call. We'll figure it out for you. The second most common hose you see out there is hose with NPSH threads on here. We'll go over that right now. This is not common in the fire service. It's more common in the industrial market. We'll go over the female side. Remember, the female side, a lot of times it's stenciled on their NPSH on the female coupling. We never want to measure the female coupling to determine what size coupling we have. We always want to measure the male side. So this is a 2.5 inch NPSH. It seals with a gasket. It's designed to go on and off things. For instance, this will thread onto a 2.5 inch male PVC pipe, 2.5 inch MPT pipe or galvanized pipe. For example, if this was a two and a half inch, this is a two and a half inch MPT. It'll, so a two and a half inch female MPSH threads on there and it threads on with a gasket. All right? It's designed to go on and off multiple times. Unlike MPT, MPT to MPT is a permanent connection. All right? The male side of an MPSH coupling will, will only thread onto a female two and a half inch. So this is a two and a half inch MPSH male. It'll only thread onto a two and a half inch female. Same thing. It'll thread on perfect. It'll seal with a gasket. If you were trying to thread this on to a anything MPT, it will not go into there. For example, this is a two and a half inch MPT. If this was a PVC pipe, galvanized pipe, metal pipe, It'll start to thread. It might grab one or two threads, but it won't go. So this is very important. You're going to need an adapter for that. All right, so this hose will only go into one thing. This is a 2.5 inch MPSH male. It will only go into a 2.5 inch MPSH female, period. Don't, that's a very common mistake in the market. And you can always measure this to determine the outside diameter of the male. MPSH to MPSH seals by a gasket. All right. MPT to MPT seals with the threads. And the last thread we're going to talk about today is let's say you had a, a, a PVC pipe, a male two inch PVC pipe or a galvanized or metal pipe. This is commonly referred to as MPT. All right, MPT to MPT seals with the threads. NPSH to MPT seals with the gasket. So let's say we have a male two inch PVC pipe and we want to convert it to, let's say, a um, a fire hose thread or NH. So this is a two inch 
MPT pipe. I'm going to go ahead and this is MPSH. Okay. Now this is going to thread on here like this. Now this is not a permanent connection. This has got a gasket in there. You can do this on and off. You don't need any pipe dope or anything for this. This is basically just using a gasket to tighten it down and that prevents it from leaking. And that'll convert a two inch MPT to an inch and a half NH or fire hose thread. All right, that's designed to go on and off and it seals with a gasket. The thread count of MPSH and MPT is exactly the same. If I want to do a permanent connection, this is a two inch MPT and this is a two inch MPT. It's a male and female. If I want to do a permanent connection, I would just use some pipe, cement, cement it up here, put it on, and that's a permanent connection. That's MPT to MPT. All right. The last thing to remember is um, if you have a female MPT. The only thing you can go inside a female MPT is another MPT, and that'll be a permanent connection. An MPSH male would not go into a female MPT.